1051 is the Breakfast Club, and we got a special guest with us this morning. Pip Juice. The homie Nelly. What's happening? What's up, sir? What's good, champ? Everything all right? Yeah, man. Always Nelly brought uh, my best friend with me, his security guard that looks like Suge. He brought his best friend with him, not what, with you. What, he saved your life? But you almost got a- into a fight with Nelly absolute, before you... No, it wasn't you guys with almost about to get into a fight with no, some rappers around. We was on, I was on tour with Nelly. I was DJing for Fab. Okay. Yeah. We were all in the club. And the fight broke out. Again with this story. <laughs> I'm telling you, the fight broke out. It had nothing to do with me this time. Okay. Everybody started fighting and running. And he always has a I story. wasn't paying attention. And I almost got knocked on the floor and trampled. <laughs> it's a funny story. Like a chick. Like, like a chick. Yeah, I almost got knocked. I mean, I was on the floor. I just. Oh my and then gosh. Nelly Security came. Scooped you up. By my collar. And dragged me out of the club by my collar. That's a good security dude. They take care of their clientele and the women and children first. Okay. So, yeah. Thanks. Man. Absolutely. We had to get him up out of there, man. We had a tour to finish. So. Thank, thank you. So you got you, me up out of there. You so. must have been green, Envy. I said, I was pink and red and blue. No, I mean green <laughs> as in. No, shut up. <laughs> what year was that, sir? I'm not telling my age. It was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Now, Nelly, at one point you were like the biggest rapper in the world. Yo. You know, Jay said it the best. The only people moving units was uh, M, Pimp, Juice, and us. Yo. Those things have changed. Okay. You know, musically, you kind of cold out here. Well, you think so? Uh, I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, I've only had one record I didn't have a number one record on. Yeah. Last record I put out, I had a number one record. It sold about five million records. Five Single. million singles. Hey, it works. But you know, you used to sell like you know five million albums. That's like, a lot of people did. Yeah, I mean, but do you feel the effects of that though? Um, like as an artist. I mean, I think everybody in the entertainment feel the effects of um, when the economy do what it do. You know, it's a, it's definitely a young man's game, and it's a um, veteran survival. You know what I mean? So you know, you get to a point to where it's just about turning pages. But and you're all. not old though. Like we, me and Ti had the same conversation. Ti's thirty one, but he feels right. like he's old. Like you're not old. Well, I mean, when you've been in it, when you. Not old as in age, but old as in been in the game for a minute. You know what I'm saying? When you've been in it 12 plus years, you know, it's a, it's a long time. Gotcha. And, you know, you were, I know, according to Billboard, you were like number three on the list of the, the decade artists, like one of the yeah. biggest artists of the decade for last decade. Okay. So sometimes it's hard when you're all the way up here, mm-hmm. like to keep on keeping that up because that's a lot to live up to anyway. Well, yeah, nothing, nothing continuously excels. You know what I mean? I mean, it's called a career for a reason, you know, so you got the ups, you got the downs. But as long as you're around, that's the thing. But then you took a break for a while. You you you, you, you took a break, and, and that kind yeah. of did it, did it as well. Now you took that break because I believe that's when your sister was sick. Yeah, yeah. You were taking yeah. taking yeah. care of your sister, and then at that point, that's when Flo Rida came in. Now okay. Apple Bottom Jeans was that your song first? Nah, it wasn't my song. Oh, okay. Um, I never actually heard the song or nothing mm-hmm. like that. But um, I mean, no, this is the thing, because people always try to do that. You know what I mean? I ain't got no issues with flow. You know, mm-hmm. the business is what the business is. You know, do, do acknowledge that, you know, he, he, he. So Nelly. Yeah, he you was just saying. So, he said, he, said, he, said he, he walked to a show of yours along yeah, the man. highway, shoes wore out and everything. Yeah, how do you get to that? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So how do you look at that in a negative ma- manner? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You had an effect on someone that mm-hmm. that was able to come in and make a mark in, in, in music. So it's all good because I, I don't see it like not being enough room for everybody. Like mm-hmm. I said, again, I'm working on 13 years, and, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Flo was just saying he admitted to stealing your style, and he said he uh, got his muscles up, too. He wanted bigger muscles that. than yours. Yeah. Dude, you do not believe that. that. <laughs> <laughs> you do not say that. Because yeah. <laughs> you know Nelly gets riled up. Don't get him riled up. Because he did. He looked at me like, word, verify this. <laughs> Nah, no, he gave you respect. He gave you big you. respect when he was. No, there. he's a cool dude, man. Like I said again, it's enough room for everybody to do their thing, man. Um, definitely with social media the way that it is, you can touch everybody at one time. So it's a beauty. I know when you were younger, everybody always said that you were kind of hot tempered. You said you got kicked out of a bunch of different schools yeah. and everything. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlemagne could have really just did something right now, but I'm sure What's you've that? calmed down. I mean, we've learned to pull pull it back to a certain point. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, retainers are retainers, so we make sure we keep them. <laughs> oh, I'm suing. Please don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I, you got you own part of the Bobcat. You got bread. Don't think just because Nelly's cold out here musically, he don't got no money. He got bread. Right. Why are you calling him cold musically so much? I mean, oh, you know, now, now see, this is why I don't like. No, 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 Nelly. Let me tell you something. He got his image. Oh, Nelly. No, 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 Nelly. Let me tell you something. When a- Angela and we have this conversation no. all the time, they say Nelly's not out here musically. Now that he's here, y'all gonna act like that? I no. definitely didn't say that because we nope. had a conversation. We I speak, said, we speak, we gotta talk. We talk I about said the, last the songs record. that I like. I said, I like the oh, song God. that he did. Hold on. I said, I like the song that he did with Plies. That was my song. Right. And you said that was two years ago or whatever. But I could always tell you Nelly's songs that I like. I'm gonna let y'all move like. up. No, no y'all like the dance, the one huh? that said that. And that's the, the problem. Thing. Just tell, tell the artist the, the truth. Record, he said the last record sold records. It was, it was more of a pop record. But we said this record with Mary Go Round. We didn't like it as Nelly, much. Nelly, it's lies. 
we say we didn't oh, like yeah, they did say that. You did say you didn't like Drake. You said he's cold out here. Opinion yeah. is opinion. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm saying, you saying cold as in not when Just music. Now? That's all. As in right now? Right now, yeah. Okay, as in today? As in today, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Again, that's your opinion. We'll make that happen. But, you know, Nelly is also always in the news for other reasons, too, not yeah. just your music. And it seems like you don't really like people prying into your personal life because you never, ever want to comment on what you're doing, who you're dating, what's going on with you. I always comment on what I'm doing. Now, when you talk about the dating and all that, I mean, you know, that's something that it seemed to be more important to everybody else than to me. So, you know, I know who I'm dating. I know what's going on. So it's, it's important cool to us thing. women because a lot of, I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of chicks around. There's people in this room <clears throat> right now that normally aren't in here just because Nelly's right. in here. Yeah. Her name is <laughs> Sasha. She's our producer. She's standing right on the wall. I've known her for about seven years and all she's ever talked about is wanting to have sex with Nelly. She gets a pass, Sheesh. she said. She has a boyfriend and she gets a pass for you. All right. <laughs> she gets a pass? Yeah, she said that's the one person But did she take down the Nelly posters from her, uh, her studio before you went in there and did drops? Oh, they still up there. Uh, I saw one. Oh, <laughs> you see what I, mean? I saw okay. one. So I mean, it's all good. I appreciate it. <laughs> no, but listen, you have to be flattered that people care. Cause listen, if you were ugly, people would not care who you were dating. But because women find you attractive, they're like, okay, what's going on? And then you had a high profile <coughs> relationship, you know, that right. people assume that you're in a relationship. So it is kind of news that people are going to ask you. No, about. it is. It is. I, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just see it. She wants to know you still with a show. And then, and then she wants to know. To a point. <laughs> and then we think you're writing point. songs about her, you know, and doing videos. And we're like, okay, that's cute. Is he talking about his girl? Like, we care. All right. Does it work? Is it working? <laughs> if it's working, I'll take it. If it's working, I'll take it. No, like you said, you know, me and baby girl, we real cool, man. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't think anything is going, going to change until, you know, me and her decide that we, we want to change it, you know. But I, everybody think it's my decision that we say what we say. You know, there was, mm -hmm. it's a mutual respect. It's a mutual decision that's being made that's saying, yo, this is what we're going to say. This is what we're not going to say. We do be thinking that. We be like, why won't he just claim Ashanti already, yeah. man? That did poor she girl. Ever, did she ever claim me? Yes. Where? She be like, man, I love him. And I what, on what show was that? I, when I saw her at 4040. <laughs> when you saw her at the club, y'all having drinks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drink she said, I, I, she said, I, I wish like, he would just claim me. The cameras weren't rolling. <laughs> did she say something different on the radio? If it is, play it for me. Let me hear it. So if she said it, you would say it. We would say what we going to say together like we've been saying. Know what I mean? All right, all right. You with it? <laughs> now, when Here I Come, the, the record with Rick Ross you did a while ago, yeah. there was a line on there that it seemed like at the time, I guess you and Irv Gotti were going through a little problems. Was that a line going at Irv? And your man is a, your ex-man is a chump. And I tell him, da, 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 da. I'm not a rapper, so I don't know. That's what happened. That was a good rap, though. No, you know, I ain't, I ain't never had no problem with Irv, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Irv ain't never saw me and said nothing out the ordinary or side of the neck or nothing like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We always say, what's up, and keep it moving. Never no pound, and then a whisper in the air, you got a good girl. You <laughs> care. Nah, I, 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 I don't Charlamagne think he said stupid. that. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, I don't know, champ. You know, if, if it's something you're trying to get to, just get to it. You know, it's like I said, we retain us, bro. Just say what you mean. Mean what you say. Uh -huh. No, I don't want to. I don't, okay. I don't want to know. I was just on World Star last week. I got Yeah, you. yeah I don't want no problem. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, you. now, Apple Bottom Jeans. You own Apple Bottom Jeans. You yeah. own Troop. How was the clothing line going? Mm -hmm. I heard it's huge overseas as far as Apple Bottom Jeans. Yeah, Apple What's Bottom Jeans. What's going on with Troop? Shout out to, um, you know, we got two, um, Two stores in Dubai, mm -hmm. the strict Apple Bottoms, you know what I'm saying, and um, one in the mall of Dubai, and one in another mall over there in Dubai. Apple Bottoms is what it is, you know. It's been it's been great. We're working on ten years now. We're one of the only, I guess, considered urban female lines to still exist after, you know, ten years. So mm -hmm. you know, that's a that's is it still doing well. Itself. Yeah, it's doing better than everything else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you made more money doing other you know stuff than the actual music? Um, overall? No, I would say music definitely, on an overall scale, you made more money in, in music than overall. I mean, you know, you get to about 35 million records, ain't nothing, you know, ain't nothing more you can do with that. But Apple Bottoms has definitely been a blessing. And, you know, we got a chance to open up a new school in St. Louis, teaching kids how to be producers and make beats and, mm -hmm. you know, dance and teach vocal lessons and all that. I partnered up with a trade school back home called Vatterot. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my old lady, Pam Bell. You know what I'm saying? She's a beautiful person. She's CEO of um, Vatterot College and all that. And we came 
came together and you know we're trying to get kids an affordable way to learn how to do things behind the music and make artists such as myself look like something. Yeah, yeah. Troop, the clothing line Troop. You had Troop, Still right? got Troop. Mm-hmm. Still got Troop. You know, it's a funny thing when you go through this thing because, you know, I'm not a manufacturer. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you got to you gotta get and partner with people. And a lot of people know if you're in this business, you want to partner up with the people. It's kind of like being with a label. You know, you want to partner with somebody that believe in you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That believe in what you're doing musically and all that. And it's the same thing with clothes. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to get with somebody that believes in the brand. So, you know, we having a little struggle with making sure that whoever we decide to go with at this time that they believe in Troop but you know I still own Troop like you said Apple Bottoms and all Mm -hmm. we working on some more stuff you ever want to just say F rap you know I can make money doing other things no I I think uh, you always say F the music business I think the music business I think that's what kind of takes away from my artists is creativity because it stops being creatively for you and it starts being about business and trying to hit a mark Mm -hmm. you know um, especially when you have some type of success coming out you get to a certain point where it's like yo man I, you know Nobody wants to continuously have to do it, but nobody turns down the check that they get when they <laughs> when they've achieved the success. Mm-hmm. So you know when you do do what you do and you may hit a crossover point, it's cool because you see that check coming in. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But then when you get that and that label banging on you like, yo, we need we need to recoup for that check. Mm-hmm. You like, sheesh. Now you're also doing yeah. a St. Lunatics album. Yeah, we finishing up that joint right there. Um, shout out to my brothers, Kiwan Ali, Murphy Lee. My little brother, City Spud, you know he free. I used to wear the band-aid for him like that. He mm-hmm. did like nine years. You know, he a little hothead too. I didn't bring him up here with me. Mm-hmm. I was feeling you know like... Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> Why you looking at me for? He looked uh, at you. Right I, I, I just said I didn't bring him up here with me. He a little hothead. You right. know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, Charlamagne with it. Yeah, good thing you didn't bring him. But um, Oh, it's cool, <laughs> Did you guys have some issues like in the past with the St. Lunatics? Because it felt like you y'all weren't really together for a minute. No, we've always been together. Just you the know, guy with the you, mask. You've never seen yeah, me. Yeah, uh, I don't even know his name, but oh, he, yeah, we were, he had issues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he <laughs> thought he was on the album for real. You know Sometimes what I'm goes <laughs> He thought he wrote lyrics and everything, came up with something. But yeah, you, you just know. wore a mask and you danced on stage. That's what we told him. <laughs> Did he even get paid for that? That's what we told him. He got paid handsomely to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, you can help people so far. Now, I heard that you're also doing a show that Queen Latif is producing. You're like a mentor on the yeah. show that's on WB that comes out next CW. month. CW. Oh, it's on CW. Yeah, CW. Um, shout out to the Queen and stuff. You know, she's doing her thing. You also want to celebrate that when you see um, sisters making moves, and she continuously makes them great ones. Um, yeah, the show is called The Next. It's like fam- <coughs> fame is at your door, so to speak. And, you know, it's another music show, but it's more of a little twist in the sense of we only got 72 hours to get certain artists. And these are not artists that we discover, and these artists deserve to be on this stage. they already been doing their thing locally. they already got a nice following on the Internet. So when we come into those cities, you already know who you're looking for. They deserve a shot. Mm-hmm. And we're not judges, you know, and that's, that's why I really was like, okay, cool, because I'm not here to tell nobody, yo, you should be on or you shouldn't be on. That's not for me to decide. If they got a fan base, if they doing their thing, then, you know, society is society if you're going to be you know, a star and all that. But what we try to do is encourage them in 72 hours, probably tell them what they're doing wrong and get them ready for the biggest stage that they probably ever performed on. So it's a cool deal. You ever thought about Hollywood? I saw you do the thing with uh, Kevin Hart, the yeah. Real House Husbands of <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> he got the TV show coming. You going to make appearances on that? Um, yeah, we're working that out right now. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a great thing too, Kevin. Um, coming up with that, the BET Awards, you know, he, he shot me that idea, like, yo, this is something he wanted to do when he was thinking about it, and I was like, yo, it's crazy, I'm in. <laughs> you know, so, it's cool, man, you know, especially with brothers that you get along with, like Kev, T.I., you know, behind the scenes, it works. T.I. Yeah. hates rap right now. I he's, mean, another, he's another one who musically people aren't really feeling right now. He's kind of cold, and he, he'll tell you right now, I hate rap. I don't, my heart's not into it. Well, I ain't going to say they ain't feeling them because, I mean, it just depends on where you at. Where you at might not be feeling them, but it's somewhere that's feeling them. You know what I'm saying? So, but not like it was. Though. Like, T.I.'s one of my top yeah. five favorite rappers ever. Okay. But, you know, he hasn't given us a, you know, a what you know about that yet or a dope boys in the trap. He hasn't given us one of those bangers in a minute, minute. It's definitely something, you know, in, in this game you got to work at a certain point. Again, you're talking about somebody with 10 plus years in the game. Absolutely. So, you know, you got to crack it. Now, with this album, uh, what, what can we expect from this album? Um, I titled the album, album M.O., mm-hmm. M.O. Dot, you know, um, slash Missouri slash Mo, what they call me, so it's all in one. And what you doing, man, is, again, you told, you're talking about plus years, so mm-hmm. you're trying to Make sure that you give people what they've come to love of you, but also trying to reinvent yourself at the same time. Mm-hmm. So that's the twist with survival in this music game. So the album is, you know, it's full of energy. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's one of them 
one of them albums, you know, you don't want to say it's the best album I've ever done because that's not up to you to decide. But I definitely think people are going to be real surprised about the joint. Do you feel like you still have something to prove? I mean, you sold so many records. Well, not, I wouldn't say the proof, but I mean, you know, I'm a competitive dude. You know what I mean? I come from sports. I come from athletics. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I boxed. I did all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's one of them things where it's like, you know, you want to win. You want to win at all times. And, you know, I'm a competitive dude. If, if musically you never get back to that spot you were at, would you feel mm -hmm. like, you know, I feel bad or would you feel like but I what, had okay. a career? When you say that spot, I want what is that spot like? I mean, when that spot does what? Like the big, like the biggest rapper in the game. Period. Number one albums, number one singles on well, the I charts. Well, I think I think everybody get they they shot to be that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get that shot at a certain time to be number one. It's only it's only one slot. You know what I'm saying? And that's gonna be by opinion anyway. Cause you can just cause you got the hottest records don't mean you moving units. Just cause you moving units don't mean you got the hottest records. And mm -hmm. everything outside of rap go into it too. You know, um, it's kind of funny. You know, cause. I have had a lot of pop success, but when I throw parties, you know, I got, it's packed from wall to wall, but it's all my brothers and sisters in the party. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's it's a cool thing. It's a funny thing with me too as well, but you know, we try to make it work. I feel what you're saying though, because artistically, country was a dope record to me. I appreciate it. You know it. what I mean? But yeah. it, it, you know, it wasn't embraced as one of your commercial records would be. But I thought artistically, I was like, damn, Nelly made something different. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Now, you have always done some surprise collaborations with people. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you've done stuff with country singers. Yeah, man. You've done things with NSYNC. Is mm -hmm. there anything surprising like that that you're going to be that's gonna on be this album? Demo? Oh, my God. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But I you got can't one. Tell uh, us? Nah, nah, I can't, but I will come back. <laughs> what, soon, what genre? As soon as it. Uh, rock. Okay. Rock. You know what I mean? And I'm talking one of the biggest to do it. So. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully all goes well and um, we get a chance to knock this out. And when it works, it's going to be monster. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Shout out to him. Okay, <laughs> Whoever it is, we don't know it's him yet. one guy and he's a rock star. And he's big. <laughs> all could be. He's, he's still on a part of the Bobcast too, right? Yeah, okay. definitely doing that. You know what I'm What's saying? What's going on um, with the Bobcast? You know what? Um, NBA did y'all I mean, I can't tell Mike how to play no basketball, what to do over there, man. I'm, I'm, I, I fall in line over there because mm -hmm. I ain't gonna even joke. <laughs> Actually, you might can you know though, because you, I mean, you're a fan of the game, so you know what they need, you know what they're doing wrong. He might be too involved as a player. <laughs> what thinking is Michael he Jordan? What I don't care. That Michael don't mean he Jordan. know everything. Yeah, what you gonna say? No, I, I agree that you know that don't mean you know everything, but I mean he can't, he can't really tell me about music. You know what I'm saying? If we sat there and do it, but. I mean, he's Michael Jordan, man. It's, it's, it's not a bad thing to be in business with Michael Jordan at any time on any level. <laughs> Do you have a gamble with him or anything? Uh, where we've been at? We've been somewhere um, where we've probably been out and hung out a few times. You know what I'm saying? But I, I ain't gambling like Mike. There's no way. You get free Jordans? There's no, yeah, plenty of <laughs> <laughs> so you care about him? Damn right. <laughs> That's a hell of a connection too. You Absolutely. Know? So if anything, it's definitely worth it on that. <laughs> All right. Well, Nelly, when, when do we get this album, Nelly? Yeah, we get an album later on this fall. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If not fall, top of the uh, top of the winter, something like that. So we're trying to grind it out again. It's a different game, man, from when I came out. You know, you got to build up that 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 intensity. You got to build up that that, that anxiousness, and uh, you got to work it. You know, it's almost hard to drop a record and not be on TV at the same time now you know you got to use everything to your best advantage so um we're trying to collaborate and put these four corners around me you think you might do like a reality tv show before the album comes out or something um, you know people buying the people nowadays not just exactly you know, that's my point you know what i'm yeah. saying you got to sell everything man you got to sell it visually as well as musically like i mean and you, you love you love reality tv right I love it because I don't like people telling me what the hell to do so mm -hmm. you know anytime you get to be you on television that works mm -hmm. i know i was reading that you watch barzillas a lot you know what? I <laughs> yo, here it is. You know what here it is. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't my idea to watch Brazil. I'm gonna say that somebody else was watching Brazil, and I felt like I was forced to watch it for a couple of episodes. You know, she likes Brazil. Mm -hmm. She's a fan, a right. huge fan. I hope she's not gonna be a Brazil when y'all tie that knot. That's how you. That, no, I, I, we found it made for TV. Yo. That's yeah. my best show. I, I started liking Girlfriends because the chick was watching it. Yeah. Days of Our Lives what and the new show lives? Girls on yeah. HBO. Yeah. What about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? Love it. You know what? I know people real critical about that, but I think it's I think it's made for TV, man. I, I think when people get upset about that show, I think they taking it seriously, and there's nothing to be taken seriously about that show. It's entertainment, so mm -hmm. you know I I, t I tune in to laugh. Mm -hmm. You know I think Stevie J is made for television. Would you I get mean, in the studio and let him produce some falling, stuff? 
You know what? I don't think it's a question of of of, of what he's done, man. Mm -hmm. You look at Stevie J's mm -hmm. record about musically, about what he's done. I mean, you know, you can put him up there with a with a host of people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, whether you take him seriously as a person or not. But I mean, dude is made for TV. I don't know. who's taking if, that seriously. If he called your phone and said, "Yo, I want you to do a record with my." Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. You'd be like, man, please. You'd laugh and hang up. Yeah, I would. You'd be like, Spud. <laughs> like, Spud. Just call me and I'm just doing record. I would. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, you know, I tune in to watch him. <laughs> I tune in to watch him get on the phone and ask. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nelly, the album we get this for. We appreciate you stopping Yo, in. Anytime, cuz. I appreciate it. It's the Breakfast Club on Power 105.1. And Nelly!